From family circles to racing circles, NASCAR is where the bond between father and son can become king. While sons inherit their father's names, daughters inherit their hearts. Every dad is their daughter's hero. Every daughter, daddy's princess. The things that you're exposed to at a certain age uh, leave such an impression on you that you carry that throughout your life. For Jack and Susan Rausch, family ties weave a racing fable. A daughter and a dream born together, and a family tree that kept life rooted. I went to work for Ford in, in 64 right out of school, so when, when Susan moved to Detroit, she was only uh, three weeks old. There's a picture of Susan that her mother took to remind me of how little uh, space I'd given her an opportunity to play. I just grew up around cars. I do have quite a few memories of, of being at the uh, drag strip. It was a natural progression. You know, we drag raced, and then I wound up really focusing on building the engineering business. One type of racing, one type of motorsport competition just kind of flowed into the other. Right. He sees the checkered flag ahead. Mark Martin wins! Led by a former school teacher who learned from his family, Roush Racing graduated into a five-car program. And all the ideas and all the innovations that Roush has, it's just unbelievable. And he has it all orchestrated into one big company. It's just a great thing. For the Roush family, the sky was the limit. Then, the heavens fell. April 19, 2002 was my 60th birthday. And uh, I was, it was a weekend when we had the race at Talladega. I actually flew with a P-51 Mustang, flew it to the race. They had a, an airport in Troy, Alabama, and said, we'll have a little air show for ourselves on the field here. We'll cook some steaks and celebrate your birthday. As it turned out, they had an airplane that I knew about, something called an Air Cam, which was a small experimental airplane with an open cockpit. They said, Jack, we'd like for you to go for riding this. So I got in the airplane and flew off. And uh, there was a bass lake. And I got to the end of the lake, pitched up to pull back around and go to the airport. And there was some high tension wires. Jack's tiny plane was snared. Racing dreams and flying machines fell in pieces to the ground. The water was about uh, four, four and a half foot deep, and, uh, and I was trapped underwater. And uh, Marine Sergeant Major Larry Hicks was, uh, was close by and saw what had happened and uh, came out and, and got me out of the water before I perished. I was under, on life support for about a week. Emotions aside, because when you live through something like that, you know, it's... <laughs> Um, walked into the room and you had tubes coming out of you everywhere. There was a long period of uncertainty. The family withstood the storm. Roush Racing won back-to-back -back titles in 2003 and 2004, the last Winston Cup and the first Nextel Cup. From seeds sown by Jack's guiding hand, the family tree branched out. With a fairy tale life and a fairy princess of her own, Susan rediscovered her father's racing roots. In 2008, Susan competed for her first win. This was the life a daughter had inherited. Racing dreams carried on butterfly wings. She does, runs a 10.71 on a 10.71. What a job for Susan McClellahan out of Livonia, Michigan. It's very, very wonderful to be able to share that with my daughter the way I grew up. You know, just to know that the things that she's experiencing are very much like what I experienced. I had no idea what, where that was headed, or I probably would have taken a, taken a leave. <laughs> uh, I think it's too late for deniability. Uh.